Yeah, it's like why why kill that guy? That guy was so awesome. We barely because, even knew uh, him. Because the death flag was triggered, <laughs> and Rudy was like, "Yeah, now I can go back into your grandpa of all the crazy things he did." Or it's, or it's like the death scene. Damn you guys! Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Anime Izuka Podcast. This is the Mishoko Tensei Weekly Review. We're on episode 3. Today, we'll be discussing just a lot of the things that happen in this episode. So, spoilers if you haven't watched it. Go watch it first and then come back to here. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello! And finally, we have Ku. Yo! So, this episode... Uh, so this is, was it, No Such Thing as Free Launch? I guess, quick summary of what happened, just going back from last episode where Rudy got caught by the beast people. He's caught in the cage and waiting to get out. Been there for a while. He meets up with the random guys in the cage who calls him boss. I, I forget his name, so someone's got to remind me. Geese. Geese? Okay. Yeah, so, so so geese. he meets up with the geese in the cage, and then um, I guess halfway through the episode or whatever, um, there's this huge like raid on, on the village. Um, a lot of the raiders, like the drug smugglers, or the, the smugglers come back, and they start burning on the village. We have this epic fight between like Rudy and the Raiders, and then and surprise, the, sh- the sketchy guy that we thought from the episode was sketchy is indeed sketchy. So he's back. Turns out he's a North Saint. He has like the what the North style um type of, of sword fighting, and yep. North style fighting. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And so he goes, you know, fights Rudy. Rudy uses his his newly found you know demon eye that he just got this ep- like last episode very conveniently. So it works out nice for him in this episode. And then, you know, everyone's all happy back in the village. So that's like a lot of the main stuff that happens in this episode. And then the last part of this episode, they were kind of like bringing back to that kingdom where for Eris and her family is. And we find out that I guess maybe somewhere higher up, like like the king or whatever, they, he blames Eris' grandfather for what happened with the, the mana disaster. And he ends up executing the grandpa. Oh god, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> so that's like a big part of where we left off. So we can save that for a little, little bit later because like there's a lot of things we need to try to go off that. But I remember the last season they were talking about all these different um all the different styles of fighting. So what was this? Mm-hmm. So what's what's Paul's style? Is that the same thing that like Ares and her family uses or what? Paul's uh, proficient um, in the three different styles, I believe. Okay. Um, um who, who, what's the style that Eris learned under like the the her trainer, the the, the beast girl that I forgot already? Uh dude, I, I honestly forgot too. Okay. But uh it was more uh melee focused because there was one where they they threw swords and there was another one that was more like uh more about countering and reaction rather than like an aggressive Is that um, Eris' style head, heads on style? Eris's style was more like heads on, like just normal sword fighting okay. in a sense. Because she's like, because I remember Tizzle t- like specifically like saying this, how Eris is like, she's really good at, uh, at a style, like almost as good as like as like a master or something. She's like, she's you know, she's only like thirteen, whatever. She's like a, a sword prodigy, so she's already really good at one of the styles. So how does this one sound, North God style? Does that sound that's, right? That's that's the one that the Saint used this episode. Okay, uh, sword god style. No, uh. Sword God, them? No, I think that's actually Ares. It says the Sword God style. That's Ares' style. Okay. I, oh, maybe. maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, okay. I, I, just, I forgot. I just googled. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just yeah. trying to remember all the different styles. I feel like this is gonna be like important later. Like of all how of how much they fork oh, sure. shadow in a show. Because well, yeah, we so it it definitely does come to play later on, but it's not really important right now. But I believe there are only three different sword styles in this universe. Oh, okay. Um, the only I, reason I, why I'd say like if it's is important is just because like that's how you counteract the styles. I guess like if you know the style, you kind of know how it's gonna play out. I feel like I mean because like yeah. they specifically yeah. mentioned that like Rudy specifically mentioned that Geese or not Geese um the 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 smuggler like his style was North God. I, it felt like they're placing importance on that unless they're just trying to show like kind of different like again reinforce like the the battle system in this show how there's different sword styles. So. I, I I don't think that he was really focused on the fact that he was using the North God style. I think it was just the fact that he was a saint level. That's what really worried him. Okay. Because saint yeah. level is pretty high. And, and, as, and you know, uh, as you know, like Rudy, he's not very... Um, he's not very... Efficient in melee. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it's just the fact that he's kind of hesitant when it comes down to killing people. And he gets scared very easily. Um, you know, anyone that's that's of high caliber... 
uh fighting uh like fighting level it's it, it would scare like rudy since he doesn't really have like like a tank or a, a front man to kind of like keep him safe in a sense and this is this is like the first legitimate time though we got to see uh rudius uh or uh he him face off against like a i guess like melee style with his one his eye and just to mm-hmm. kind of see how he was able to use his magic and how that just played out i was gonna say like yeah. even before yeah. then like uh rudy was hesitant at even starting the fight because he was oh yeah he was pretty scared starting that fight until like the dog came mm-hmm. yep yeah. Dude, uh, was it his name Geese? I love that guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's yeah. a pretty chill guy. You yeah, know, he's I, he's kind I, of a coward, I, but uh... I thought for sure, I also... thought at first like he was just gonna be just this random guy, just like this, this either like either a scumbag or just like this random like NPC that we just got just just like leave after he escapes. So I didn't expect him to be that important like in this actual episode. Dude, we're burying the lead. We're, we've completely forgot to mention how fucking confident Rudy looked when he was just butt ass naked at the beginning of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Basically just lay just laying down in the bed like a king. <laughs> He's just <laughs> just yeah, trying to just uh... or the fact that he was getting massages from geese when he was like butt naked. It was it was yeah. kind of weird. And then like I guess whenever the guard <laughs> lady came by to like give him food or whatever he would always give her this like very lewd look or disgusting look, and then Staring at I, think that's why, I think yeah. that's why the uh, the the guard lady kept throwing water on him, just because every time he looked at her, and because like he's there because he was doing lewd things to the sacred beast. I think that's why like no one really wants to listen to the guy or to give him such a disgusting <laughs> look, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 what's what's crazy is like uh, I I mean I don't know how how uh, I guess like how frequent it is that. Uh, humans know how to speak the beast language. I don't know if that's like a common thing or if it's just something that's out of like out of the norm. But I mean, I mean was it Rudy? Does, how many? Go ahead. I mean, like, doesn't Eris like Eris and her family they have like good relationships with like the beast people, don't they? So like, but can Eris speak beast though? I don't know if she I don't can. Think anybody... But like, yeah, because like the first season, like, um, like they had a bunch of like the 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 maids were like a lot of the beast people. So so I don't know if that's gonna be right. important or not. But like, I just that's something I remember. Like, how, um. Like they were, they were a part of like Ares' family. So the nice thing is, I do feel like we actually went through this fairly quick. Uh, he basically got captured and almost it was a, kind of like a resolve, or mm-hmm. it was resolved in really an episode and a half. Yeah, I was I was expecting to take like, like at least two up two or three episodes to like I thought he was yeah. like like get like I thought he was get like, interrogated and I thought they were gonna show like like Ares and and a Muger just like struggling to find him, but pretty much ended like after she got the fight. So. Not that I'm complaining, because, like, I kind of want, like, the mm. story to keep on moving. Like, I want, like, the adventure to go on. I don't want them to be too stuck yeah. in, like, this village if nothing too important is going to happen here. I still, okay. I feel, I feel like the, the, the badass guy, like, the beast guy, because last week I was saying, like, I, I have a feeling that someone from this village is going to join their party. He'd be the most the likely, but, like, I don't, I don't know if, if maybe it's just going to be, like, those three still for a while, but it feels like if they're going to have someone join the group would be like that guy he he'd be doing it because he wants to like for his way to atone for trying for like for accusing rudy and stuff so that's just, that's still my guess like he would be the one most likely to join their party the sacred beast has become a mount i will i will live oh, and die gosh. on that on that oh, hill oh god <laughs> okay that's so disrespectful. i will live and die so disrespectful what do you what do you mean like it's the, a dog. the, the, the dog's not ass man not a dog it's okay. He can be well. He can be a pet he then. Can if you want. I mean, that's a pretty big dog. So big for Rudy because he's a he's a, he's a child. Grown. Yeah, Dude, the, the dog was pretty sick though too. Like uh, every time I kept thinking, please just don't let this dog die. I mean, I was... the, oh, actually, the new party member, David, the the small of uh, the geese. There's geese? your there's oh, a new party I guess member. yeah, him too. I guess he would be <laughs> most likely. Forgot. I yeah, because I also yeah. focused on like on like the beast people. It's like you know why are we here? You're, you know, like yeah. like doing all this with the beast people if like something wasn't gonna happen so i figured he either gets some like he either gets something or someone joins him maybe like the beast people gives him like a, an item or something or they give him a secret treasure and then geese or, follows them or maybe a new mount <laughs> yes yeah, that yeah. too that too sir <laughs> uh no I, i'm like i'm glad they actually like they move past they move past this quick i i like i really like the show more when all three of them are together and not split up mm-hmm. uh that kind of uh I, I definitely like the party and like the adventure aspect that you said david the uh the solo stuff i've seen that enough in a bunch of other shows so i'm not too big of a of, of a fan even though I mean, like with even though geese and rudius both together was a plus i mean like I, sh- I just don't like rudy enough to be for him to solo carry the show like i just i really just like everyone else like more than rudy so same 
I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I don't hate Rudy nearly as much as you get, or as you, David. But uh, I, I'm, a, I also just like his magic, uh, just the way he he's been using his magic. But I, I feel like I'm gonna, start, I'm just gonna like the guy more and more. Yeah. So I also, I still wanted to talk about too about that ending part where we find out that like that Eris's grandpa was basically Here, I guess <laughs> he scapegoated into like this whole thing, and then she dies. So that's gonna be like I assume there's gonna be a huge like, character development moment for Eris because like she was really attached to her grandpa. And then once you find out the news, like whenever they come back, I assume I don't, even know I don't even know they're come back at the end of this season. It feels like we still have a long way to go before that ever happens. But like, yeah, this will be a huge like thing for Eris. So yeah, it's like why why kill that guy? That guy was so awesome. We barely because, even knew uh, because the death flag was triggered, <laughs> and Rudy was like, "Yeah, now I can go back and tell your grandpa or, of all the crazy things he did." Or it's or it's like the death scene. Damn you guys! Yeah, <laughs> or it's like whoever 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 the guy was who like, who. Um, put the sentence on him like he's like you know manipulating things behind the scenes or he's like he's controlling people some like or he's being a shadow puppet or something so new boss i mean uh, in the end it was more for the fact that someone had to take the blame for the chaos that occurred after the uh the giant uh teleportation event that occurred and you blame the but, grandpa come on i mean the, no you like someone has to take the blame and then because like the grandpa was kind of like the the head household or like yes yeah, the lord of the land at the I time. I think it was lord of the land. Like or something, he had, yeah. yeah. So that's but why he had to take blame. I guess. I guess the wording was kind of weird because they're saying like, like it kind of made it sound like he was to blame. I thought they were saying like, like they blame him for doing it, but I guess maybe mm -hmm. it's more like they blame him for not doing enough, which is still really weird. Because like, how do you how are you supposed to clean up after this mess? But it it feels more like there's there's you know whoever that guy was just controlling things behind the scenes yeah so. it was just an opportune moment for the you know for the boss we, we, to, like we, uh, we still like don't really, yeah we still don't really know how like i mean at least for me i i, I still don't really know like a lot how like the, the political system is set up like i like is this kingdom that he controls is this this is in a separate area right because it's because rudy had to go on a, on a faraway trip but like yeah. Is that kingdom and then like in like Paul, like where they live, is that like are they separate kingdoms or are they like in like the same country? That's the part I, I'm kind of confused about. Like, I feel like there's a good chance of knowing more about all of this because, well, one, because you know, when they when they do that, eventually get back to like the, you know, the where uh, Aries's grand uh, grandfather was and everything, we'll probably find more of like you know, what kind of like what caused it, what brought it up. I, I'm guessing we'll know more. Yeah, let's just say that. Uh... I didn't really pay too much attention to that, but it, uh, the the kingdom or whatever that he was a part of, it's it's still under under the jurisdiction of a bigger emperor or kingdom in a sense. Okay. So, uh, yes. and then, like uh, the the village that Rudy and his family is from, it's like a smaller village in that kingdom as well. Okay, that's or, a like, I never yeah. Yeah. suburb. I, <laughs> yeah, somewhere. This like, is suburbs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I never really like fully took in like what was like the whole like. A lot of the food system, I barely even know. Like, I think there's like there's three continents, or whatever. There's like the continent for the, for that. There's like the demon continent, and then like, there's another continent. So like, I'm still like kind of confused on like the geography, of everything too. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't focus so much on that just because uh it's 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 not what the show is like trying to focus on. I guess that's like, uh, that's, but that's, I think there is like five different continents altogether. Okay. I think. I mean, that, that's what I... show us the map again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, there, there was that map we saw. Uh, <laughs> that's the only but yeah, I think there's like I... four so different continents. Yeah, it's just like, it's... it's When I, when I like, these kind of show, like, when they when they, people are separate like this, like, I kind of need, like, a visual... Like, when they're saying they took them the boat, it's like, well, like, a boat from where to where. That's, like, the one thing it's, like, I'm kind of confused about, like, like, I, I'm kind of, mm. like, lost, like, where they are exactly in the world, so... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think even a story... Uh, like they they do tell you in the in the light novel or web novel or whatever. Um, which I do kind of wish that they kind of like detailed more on in the anime, but I feel like it's hard for them to keep up the pacing if they were to give you every I, single detail. I guess so. So like because they were on the demon continent before, and they they were at port. They took a boat. Are they on another continent mm -hmm. now? Uh, I believe they're still on the same continent. Are they? Okay. So. See, that's the thing. It's like, like for me, I mean, I guess, I guess for this show, it's it's many more about like the adventure and like and Rudy. Oh wait, wait, no, no, wait, never mind. I think they're on a, I think they're on a different continent they're now kinda... because they 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 cross. They use a ship to to cross, cross the, the, the sea. The sea. So I, I think they are on a different continent now okay. for sure. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. But and it's I like... believe Roxy and the others are still on a demon continent. Demon continent. Okay. Uh. So yeah. So with everything that's going on, um, 
I, I don't think we're going to get much info on the, the background. Uh, like, basically where they are, where they're going, or uh, okay. where the other characters currently are. And then, uh, as for the kingdom, or the, the emperor, or, like, the, the royalty guys that you see at the end, uh, you do, like, see that they pan out to two different groups of people, right? Um, oh, I don't I remember believe this one part. Group... Yeah, so basically, like, the thing that I, I do kind of hate is the fact that for the execution of Eris's grandpa, uh, Soros, I believe that's what his name was, um, they, they're supposed to have given you a little bit more details as to, like, why he was there, what his thought process was, and basically why he was being, uh, like, held execution at that point, right? Well, I, could this be something that was that they could be covered later in the anime? I feel like oh, they, yeah. they're going to come around. definitely. Yeah, I feel Most like this is going to be something that's going to come around. Uh, but I've never seen them do a flashback in a sense. And since they already showed the fact that he got his head chopped off, it, it makes it kind of hard for them to, like, do a flashback before he was executed. I think they, I think they can manage it. I think they'll do it. Uh, I mean, I, I would hope so because, like I said, uh... it, it, it is a pretty important aspect uh, as yeah. to what will happen later on in the show. Lean, I think we'll towards definitely... Kusai and say they're probably not going to do it. The only reason why I say that that they're that they I believe that they would do it is because, like, I mean, obviously, there's still other people that are alive there that Ares knows. And Ares mm-hmm. could easily just say, like, what happened? And then basically say, like, this is what happened. And, you know, I, I guess. I mean, that, even though, like, the show isn't. It's done a good, people say it's done a good job of trying to adapt things. Like there's still things that they mm. have to skip over just of time. So it's a big skip over we'll though. If they if they just cut that out though, we will see. Uh, maybe because it's not really that important. They can bring it up later on in the future like once that. the others Isn't come that back. Important? What? No, because they can bring it up later in the future, right? You don't really need to explain why he was killed. They no, can explain right it now, later on. Later, right? They can explain yeah. it like much later, right? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious as to how they plan to start next week's episode from here, because they are going at a, a somewhat fast pace, and with only eleven episodes or ten in a sense, because last week's episode half of it was like a recap in a sense from Roxy's point of view. Yeah. So oh, yeah. uh, we'll we'll have to wait and see where they plan to end this, and it looks like the pacing of the show is going to be pretty fast. So I uh, who knows show. what they'll cut. No, no, I'm loving that so far. Like, there's so many things that they're 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 showcasing you that that makes me excited about what you guys are going to see, because like I know what's going to go, what's going to happen. Right. Uh, but I mean, it's it's still amazing to see everything animated with the music and the the atmosphere and just the voice acting, like everything coming to life. It's it's still pretty exciting. So uh, I hope that they continue to do as well as they are currently. Even though I guess some people are already sick of the fan service. But that's just that's just how I the mean, show is, unfortunately. There wasn't really any of it this episode. I'm like, yeah, I'm that's, sick that's, of Rudy. Well, let's like, the naked Rudy. Ch- but I'm sick of Rudy just chill triangle for the thirteen year olds. That's this, my big thing. This episode I thought was fine. Like it, it basically it had like it had enough edginess what made it. I guess Michelle Cotense as it mm-hmm. is, where you know obviously cool, you gotta have him. Uh, you gotta show his uh, his reaction to the uh, the beast lady girl, and mm-hmm. then it's kind of the other just ridiculousness of this episode. It's perfectly fine. I thought that's like an, that's the perfect balance if they're gonna give it to us. <laughs> oh, is it? Is that the perfect balance? I think so. We saw a lot of a uh, lot of a uh, lot of butt ass nakedness of uh, Rudy. I think that's Rudy? enough. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I think it's enough. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wish they would have developed Geese and like Rudy's like uh, relationship more because they actually do spend more time in that cell. Like I think a week or so passes with them together, I, or like. There, there's a decent amount of time for them to like bond with each other, I guess. So I was kind of hoping that they would develop the character, like the character's relationship, a lot better. It's okay. He's he's the new party member. We'll know more. Yes. We'll yes. see <laughs> what happens this week with or the new week. mouth. Yes. My God. But what do you guys think is going to happen next week, though? Like, you guys are pretty excited about anything, or like, just... like, oh. like I was like I was saying, like I still don't really know like where they are, like how far away they are from like where the. the you know, trying to get to like Eris's kingdom, whatever, trying to get Eris back. So I really don't know. And I guess so they're not on the demon counter anymore. So I guess a lot of just wait and see. It's hard to predict anything that's gonna happen. I want yeah. I was actually I was surprised we did get that we did get to see more of the grandpa because a lot of the airtime was with like Rudy or before it was with Roxy. I'm still wondering if like I get any any like green time with Paul to show what we what he's been doing during all this. So that's that's why I make that's why I wonder like if they were gonna show Paul and his family, I don't for some reason I just don't think they're gonna show Zenith. I think she's gonna be like 
like she won't be shown on air until like, until either Rudy or or Paul meets up with her. So I feel like if anything, it's more like a Paul that we're gonna see screen time of. The sh- the yeah. show does really well with uh, not really knowing. Like it's really hard to kind of predict what, what happens next. Really, all I'm gonna say is they're just gonna continue their adventure back to Aries's house. That's my prediction. Okay. <laughs> like this whole like with, this whole... With an epic melt. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like, like yes, even this mount. whole this whole thing of like like we we re- okay like like crossing the sea was an important thing, but then we just, we reached the port and we now we have this side thing going on with the beast people. So. It's like I don't know how this is supposed to tie in the story, and then I don't, we don't know. Yeah, what's the next step? So it's just really hard to guess at this point. Indeed, I love it. That's all I got. Yeah, that's all I had too. Unless Kui, you want to give any fi- final closing thoughts? Uh, no, because I feel like if I do, it'll kind of give away the right. story. So no, we'll, we'll, I'll look, leave it at that. We'll look forward to next episode, and we'll see what happens. Indeed. Unless, yeah, I guess, I guess like yeah, we're just. I can't. I can't think of any like good predictions right now. I'm just. just that's the thing. Is just like there's so much openness. So I'm. I'm pretty sure my prediction's correct. Okay. And I'm not. And, we'll and, I, and I'm not talking about the mouth. <laughs> sure you're not, sir. <sighs> All right. So I'm in here for now. So sorry about the, the GC guys. <laughs> sorry, Strand, for your your sorry, man. more work for you, sir. I'll, I'll survive. Rip, rip the I'll rip it. the editor. So yeah. that's good. that's gonna be it for this week of Shook Sensei. I want to thanks thank everyone for joining us. Uh, I know uh, first episodes first episodes came out. We got a bunch of comments. So thanks guys. We always appreciate seeing those comments. Um, yes, thank you. So I always appreciate that's like our favorite part. And we also have oh I forgot to mention this earlier. I should mention that we had Discord. So if you want to join us and like talk with us more, we're at we have Discord. We have a text channel from Shook Tensei. We also have other um, animes that we're watching this season that we're not like making videos of. So if you want to hear our, our thoughts on our current season, join the discord and enjoy the discussion. Join so, the conversations. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's it from us this week. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.